Hello everyone, this is Simple Cody, and today I'll be teaching you how to create your own repository for Cody itself. Now I know for a beginner it can be a bit uh, hard uh, following all the uh, written tutorials online on how to create one yourself. So I decided to make a simple video tutorial teaching you guys how. Now a, a repository for Cody it contains a lot of add-ons. As you can see here, the uh, main Cody add-on repository it contains a lot of video add-ons a lot of pictures and, and all kind of add-ons but us we're gonna create a video rep uh, video we have a video add-on and we're gonna put it in a uh, repository uh, so yeah let's begin with the things you need now first of all you need a, a zip file that I created uh, I made it much easier for you guys to follow these steps so you you need a key. The key you will find it uh, in the link in the link. Uh, sorry, in the description below. But you have to go to a link. Now there's no survey, hundred percent. Now just put the link in uh, the uh, key in and download it. Now you need Kodi itself. Uh, you need to download it. I already have it. You need Notepad plus plus. Now uh, I uh, suggest using Notepad plus plus because it's way easier to use than the normal normal Notepad. And you need, of course, WinRAR. Now, after the download finishes, just uh, open it and extract the f make a repository folder to your desktop. Click OK. Yes, to, oh, maybe already had it. OK. So, yeah, it's going to make a, a file right here. Just open it. And as you can see, it has a couple. Let, let me. Oh, code is in the background. That's OK. Okay, so as you can see, uh, it will give you four uh, files. Now, in a repository, as I said before, it, it contains plugins. Now, over here, I made an example, a simple plugin for you guys to use. You could modify it. You could use your own plugin. But uh, for this video, we're going to use this one that I made. As you can see, it's a simple, uh, a simple uh, plugin for a Vivo TV uh, channel. So yeah, if you have one, just uh, you could add it to this folder, or you could just use this one, or modify. So now let's begin with the add-ons.xml, the one with the S. Now, as you can see, it has nothing except two lines in there. Let me just go ahead and close all the others. Now, the add-ons.xml, it's basically the main file that tells the repository how many add-ons is there in the repository as you can see we only have one so in here we need to add the uh, plugins uh, add-on dot x no dot yeah, xml so just copy everything in your add-ons uh, your in your plugins add-ons dot xml just copy everything and ba paste it in between as you can see over here now yours may contain less lines or more, but for this one we have this. So just save it and exit out. And as you can see, the add-ons.xml it has this. Now if you have more than one uh, plugin that you need to add to your repository, of course you could just just add more as you like. But for this video, we're just gonna stay with one uh, plugin. Now the addons.xml.md5 file. Now it's empty for now. Uh, we need uh, a line. Just we need to put in one line only, and that line is a hash. A hash contains letters and numbers. To create a hash, just copy your addons.xml file. Copy everything in it. Control C, and just search on Google, or I'll just include that link in the description below. Uh, MD5 uh, generator right there. This link will be in the description below and just paste in here. And it should give you a hash. Just copy that and paste it in the MD, MD5 file and save it. Now we finish with these two files right here. Now the second step is to uh, modify the repository. Uh, uh, repository itself but as you can see we can't really modify anything in here 
because we need to upload all our files to a web host. So just um, create and uh, make your uh, plugin into uh, a zip file. Just uh, compress it into a zip. As you can see, it creates a zip right here. Now for this tutorial, I'm going to use 00 web host. It's uh, really easy to use and free, of course, to use. Now you can use anything uh, else, but uh, I just uh, like 00 web host. Now go ahead and sign up. I already have an account. Uh, you just need to put a, a domain name right here, your name, email address, password, and I'm not a robot, and I agree and create my account. It's going to send you a confirmation email. It's going to be in your junk. But I have one, so I'm just going to log in. Hotmail.com. Okay, and submit. Let me just create a new domain. Let's call it uh, Simple Cody. Choose a password. Submit. Okay, I'm gonna have to blur that out. Okay, back. And as you can see, it says building for you. After you create an account and you confirm your email, as you can see, uh, it'll be exactly like that. But you'll have a different uh, domain, of course. As you can see, it says building. It could take up to 10 minutes. Just basically, sometimes it takes just a couple of seconds. Just click on refresh. As and as you can see, it's activated. Now go to uh, cPanel and scroll down to uh, the file section click on file manager now put the password that you created and uh, over here you're gonna find the uh, like the index of your website just don't touch anything over here just click on plug uh, public underscore underscore HTML delete the two files in here just, we don't need them and go back as you can see it's empty now over here we're gonna create two directories. We're gonna call one zips and the other one install, and hit the check mark. And as you can see, created two. Now go into zips, and in here you need to uh, upload. You need to upload the uh, addons.xml, and you need to upload the addons.xml.md5 file. Just hit yes and go back and you need to create another directory and the directory has to be the exact same name as your plugin but without the uh, the version of course just copy what copy it and paste it right here and check mark and as you can see it's right there if you have more plugins of course you need to create another another directory for the other plugin now go into plugin.video.example uh, and upload. Now over here we're gonna upload the uh, zip file of your plugin that we created. Upload that, and we're gonna upload the uh, changelog.txt of your plugin, of course. The uh, uh, add-ons.xml, the fan art icon one two three four five and that should be yeah that should be it just hit the check mark and go back as you can see there's five things in here there, sh there should be five things in here the addons.xml changelog.txt fanart icon and the plugin in a zip file now of course these files are for your uh, your plugin now let's just go back to uh, the zips uh, directory. Now in here, there should be the addons.xml. Click on open, it should open a link. Now as you can see, it opened, uh, it gave us an address bar on the top. Just copy that and go back to the repository folder, addon.xml. And where it says addons.xml, just paste in the link you copied here okay now we need to we exit out of that go back refresh continue and for the addons.xml.md5 file we, we got to do the same just open 
and it's okay if it tells you there's an error just copy the, the uh, link and paste it in this in the place right here where it says dot md5 md5 and over here it says zips we need the directory of the zips now to get that just go to your uh, go to the link over here just uh, wait go to your link go to zips and copy the link here and go back and paste it right there now over here you could call your repository as you like I called it simple Cody the name the version and the providers name you could change the summary and the description of course just save it and you need an icon too for your uh, repository it has to be 256 times 256 the size of course and you need to change log.txt uh, now for the repository after editing everything in here like the uh, links we need to make it we need to uh, compress it into a zip file just right click on it right click add to our shows and create a zip now sorry now to create a zip you need to click on this uh, zip format already created one which is right here now we go back to our uh, web host we go back to public dot under uh, underscore HTML install and it should be empty and you'd need to upload the zip file we just created which is the repository dot simple Cody and yes and that's pretty much it for uploading the files online so let's go through what we did so in the plugins underscore HTML you need two directories install and zip in the install you need the repository itself in a zip file of course in the zips you need the add-ons with the s.xml the add-ons.xml.md5 and uh, another directory for your plugin now it could be different uh, from mine if you used your own uh, plugin or uh, you modified the name uh, of my plugin I provided you guys with now in it you need the zip file for your plugin and you need the icon fanart changelog and add-on dot XML if when you have all this you should be good to go just copy just copy the link right here or we'll go to it actually and copy the uh, link now we need to go back to Cody go to system no. hover over system file manager add source double tap it and control V your link click done and you can add a name for it. simple Cody done okay now go back go to system settings add-on install from a zip file and you you should see simple Cody or whatever you called it click on it go to install and you could uh, you would uh, see the re repository here and it should install it should say add-on enabled as you can see here when it finishes just install from a repository and you could see simple Cody the one we just created click on it video add-on and that's the video add-on we had the video plugin yeah so let's download it install add-on enabled I called it example because as you could see over here it's called example and in the uh, add-on uh, the plugin XML file it's called example if you want you could change it to whatever you want but don't forget if you change it here you need to change it in the add-ons.xml as uh, the uh, over here okay so now it installed let's go check video video add-on example because we called it example and as you can see it works fine sorry about that and yeah so yeah that's pretty much it for uh creating your own uh, repository now of course as I said before you could uh, add more uh, sections like let's say if you need more add-ons in your video add-on 
uh, or you need the uh, uh, picture add-ons or anything like that so yeah that's pretty much it uh, I'll make another tutorial explaining how to update your repository or uh, your uh, plugin automatically like let's say let's say for your video add-on you, you want to add more channels over here you need to add more uh, plugins I'll be teaching you guys how to update your repository basically so yeah I hope you guys uh, found this tutorial uh, easy to follow and was simple for you guys so uh, if you uh, found it helpful and everything please uh, leave a like and subscribe thank you very much and see you soon